So cool. tell me a little bit about your pottery and your techniques and your strategies. All my work is high fire ceramics. Make all my own clay, mix all my own glazes, build my own kilns. Oh, you're all natural. Doing this for about 20 years. So some of the people, oh, yeah, your yeah. pieces? This kind of has some more carved patterns to the inside, more uh -huh. geometric. Oh, this yeah. is fun. And what kind of glaze do you use on this? This is a, a, this blue, is a white, a, right? It's a blue glaze that okay. I've made, but it does have some white aspects yeah. to it. What, co what color of clay body is it? It's tan. And I, I love your foot on this. There you go. All right. It's one of my bigger ones. So this is a, more of a darker glaze. I think it's more of a matte black. And you're using a run on top of it. It's a, a copper green I've kind of been playing with. Uh -huh. it, it, it does tone out black. I never thought about making a mug like this shape. Yeah. And it got really cool buttons on the bottom and it has it on uh, the both ends that is a mechanical connection because of clay memory that handle yeah. wants to pull away so and i came up with a tool and it stamps a hole through the handle uh -huh. and then i got another tool that i made and you put a little lug of clay on it and you stamp that through and when you pull that back it leaves the impression of what looks like a screw and people always ask me like you said this was microwave safe. Do I have to take this screw out? No, like it's, it's not real. <laughs> so if people want to buy your pottery, where do they go? Uh, JessEllison.com. Awesome.